Kia ora. I'm Taffy. And today I'm gonna do something that's really stupid. It's, it's gonna turn out... It's gonna turn out badly. I, I just, I've just got one of those feelings. But, on the weekend, my little husband friend was perusing the YouTube, as he has wont to do. He suggested to me, after seeing a uh, thumbnail of Tati's new video, that maybe I should do a no mirror makeup thing. He, he's very good to me, I, and so I wouldn't want to disappoint. Um, I'm, I'm here to entertain him. That, that's like, that's my purpose. So I'm gonna do my face, and I'm gonna do a really good job, and I'm gonna do the really good job without a mirror. Yeah, so I'm just gonna this little uh, guy down so that um, I can't see myself in the viewfinder. And then we're gonna get cracking on this beautiful face. You know what I mean? Right, oh, I don't like this. Already, I don't like it. Uh, I've primed already. So I guess I'm just gonna go in with some foundation. Yeah, foundation. I think that's a good idea. It, it feels like a stick foundation day. Quite a, a, quite a heavy contour. Stick foundation day. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, this is okay. So, um, this is the NYX Wonder Wonderment of Joy. No, that's, that's absolutely not what it is. The NYX, what are you? Mineral. What? Oh, here it is. Uh, mineral foundation. Yeah, that's what that is. The color MSF02. You can't. There we go. MSF02. Something like that. I don't know. Do you reckon I put on enough? I mean, it feels like quite a lot, but it also, I mean, it's hard to say. And I can feel it there. So I think that's probably enough. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing this. Why the fuck has this got black all over it? That's not mold, I promise, it's not mold. I don't know. Has she blended out yet? I don't know. I can't see it. How long does it usually take me to blend the makeup out? I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know what this black shit is, but it's definitely not mold, okay? It's, it's eyeshadow that's come from somewhere naughty. Definitely not black mold. <laughs> oh, that's very sticky. There's a lot on my hands. Maybe I put a lot on my face. Yeah, I think that'll do. Uh, now we're gonna highlight and contour it with the cream products. I'm gonna do a bunch of cream products, right. And then I'm going to do a bunch of powder products. I think that's a really good idea for when you're doing a full face of um, no mirror makeup. So, uh, in terms of contour, I think we're going to go, uh, and then, uh, do I do, yeah, yeah, let's, let's just go full tip then. Under there, um, I think that's a good idea. Uh, you know, I don't really have much of a problem with my forehead, but I think going up there is probably a good idea. And then, um, of course you want to go, down um, and contour your nose so I think doing that and then you know just sort of in and around there that's where you contour eh? yeah it looks good I'm, I mean I, I imagine it looks good because <laughs> I'm a master right uh, the highlighter oh, I'm just gonna you know do this got the side of the nose that that bit there I think uh, uh, and then where else? I mean, yeah, in there. And then right down the middle of the nose. Well, you did that. Okay, right. Now, I'm just going to use the same sponge. Who's got more than one sponge for this sort of thing? Actually, when you buy the real Techniques ones, they, uh, they actually come in packs of two. So, I, I do have two. I've got another one somewhere. Um, I just couldn't be bothered getting it out. Right, this cheek contour is feeling... Um, good already. Okay, and, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's a chin. There, there's a chin situation. Yeah, jawline, mate. Uh, uh, we're okay. Uh, under the eyes, under the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. And then I guess there's probably film in there. I could do my whole face with my eyes closed because I don't need to look at any. I think I could just sit there like this. Mm, this is relaxing. Yeah, I like this. Take a little nap. No, I couldn't. What? Uh, uh yeah, and and up here. It's just um. Oh, 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 and there's right up the top as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. Right, and there was something way up in the hair. 
bet that looks good. Does that look good? I feel like it looks good. Right, I'm gonna do a cheeky little cream blush, which is uh, my new little friend, this the Wet n Wild um, Black McGee, because, you know, so I'm gonna get that on my finger and I'm gonna just gonna, bit of this, two fingers worth. I bet that's really pretty. Okay, and then, uh, oh, I felt like that, that one came in a little bit further. We're good, we're good. How, how many fingers was that? I think that's two. Okay, quite a lot of that in my finger. Right, uh, blend that in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just sort of marry everything together. What, what do you reckon? Is she pretty? Oh, hang on. Did I blend my nose? I don't think I have, have I? Okay. No, that, that sticky sensation makes me believe that I haven't done my Does that look great? Cool. Now it's powder time, I think. Because, you know, if you're gonna be doing no mirror makeup, you need at least, you know, something on top, don't you? Oh, I almost looked at the mirror inside there. No! Okay, I'm gonna get a brush and go onto some of this. Oh, maybe I should have used a loose powder. No, it's fine. It'll be fine if I just tap it on like this, eh? Make sure my, I powder up my um, eye socket. I'm powdering up my eye socket. That, that's, that's, that's what that part of my anatomy is called. Oh, I am brainy today. Do I feel powdered? Do I feel beautiful and uh, mattified and, and ready for my next layer of beauty? Great, I think. I think that's great. Now what I'm gonna do, today, oh, there's a little mirror on that. Oh no, that's, that's the world's worst mirror. I can't see any of that. Look, I've, I'm gonna, what is this called? Contouring. Yeah, but like powder contouring. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, I, 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 it's like a bronzer thing, I guess. Um, this is the only one I own because it's, it's not a step that I usually do. Uh, but I'm gonna put some of this on here and I'm gonna, you know, this isn't a step I usually do. I don't know what's supposed to happen. No, I think this is a good idea. Well, it's too late now, anyway. Uh, under here, shadow. Pretend I've got cheekbones and shit. I, 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 think, I think I'm gonna double down on this whole jaw situation. Well, might as well. Is that how you do it? Okay, um, yeah, I bet that looks good. Do, I, yeah, I mean, People do this up here, you know, dimension to the face. I, guess. I never would have thought about putting stuff on my forehead if I didn't watch YouTube. Stupid idea. But anyway, I'm, I'm here and I'm doing it because I'm committing to this. I'm not going to leave out a step just because I can't see myself and how good it looks. I've got faith in my abilities and I'm, I reckon this is going to look good. Next up, uh, uh, I want the powder blush, of course. Um, I I think I'm just gonna use the same brush. Yeah, I don't know. Which of these is more appropriate? Um, that pink one, sure, why not? Let's get some of that on there. That's that's some, and I'm just going to tap it on my face! Why am I doing it like that, dude? Yeah, just because you saw Tati do it with a Scott Barnes brush doesn't mean it's a good idea. It's fun though. Bah. Oh shit, I just went into the wrong colour. Fuck it, we can have two colours! Let's put this one slightly further down. It's like what Lisa Alfred does. She's a master. Does it look good? I bet it does. I bet this looks great. Now, before I put... Oh no, hang on, come back here. Before I put this little revolution guy away, um, what I think I'm... I, I, I think I'm going to put some powder contour on my nose. Now, I'm not great at this at the best of times because my nose is kind of wonky. I don't know if you'd notice that fam, but it is. What sort of brush do people use for this? What about a small one? Like, a small one! I'm gonna use a small one, okay? Let's just... Yep, and then I think it's just... Um... Oh, <laughs> where's my nose? Yeah, I... Yeah, oh, yeah, there's... Here's the other side. 
You know, I can't do it straight with a mirror, but um, I mean, it's, it's not like doing it without a mirror is going to be any more difficult. Oh, I don't know if I should have gone for the second lot. I bet it looks good. I bet my nose. I bet my nose looks snatched to the gods. Is that a saying? Don't think it is. Clearly, it's highlighter time. I've got the Anastasia Aurora thing. Yeah, I haven't used this much or even really swatched it. What should I do? I reckon I'm gonna go in with Luna because it looks like it's pretty white and I don't think we can go wrong with that. I bet this is gonna make me look beautiful. Okay. Am I shiny? Yeah, more of that Luna. Right, um, where else do I put this sort of thing? Sort of around here. Yeah, that's a good idea. In there. Uh, and just a little bit there. All right, let's grab a little brush and um, just go right down the very middle of my nose and then do the ends. So where is the end of my nose? Uh, <laughs> Yep, yeah, and then just, is she snatched? Is she snatched? Can she even breathe? Oh my god. Yeah, uh, I bet that looks good. Have I finished my face? You know what? I have. And now we're on to the easy stuff. It's time for eyes. So I thought seeing as we don't have a mirror, why don't I go into something that, um, you know, is really pigmented and super forgiving. So I've got the, <laughs> the and my prison palette and um, I've uh, sort of rigged up this so I can't see the mirror. So you know I'm not cheating. The eye look I want to go for today, I don't know man, let's just start playing. We'll find out as it happens. And I'm going to get quite a big, it's quite a big fluffy brush isn't it, Taffy? I think that's a good idea, I'm going to go into Unity, it's a sort of actually this one's it's not as beige as you might think uh okay right um oh dude i can do this whole lot with my eyes closed i don't need to see what i'm doing i'm just doing it from muscle memory you know it's like playing the piano once you've done it a million times you don't even need the music there do we go for another round yeah yeah sure this is quite a big brush Feels a little bit imprecise, but you know, that's fine. I think that's what today's sort of vibe is about. Sort of a grungy, imprecise sort of, um, you know, quite an editorial look, if you will. I bet that is like beautifully blended out. Yeah, okay, different brush. Ooh, where are we going next? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, first, right, I'm gonna take Sphere, which is like, <laughs> she's bright yellow, which I love. Um, uh, in here? Yeah, just there. Right into the inner corner. It's, I'm pretty sure that's a good idea. Right, let's do a little bit more because, you know, you can't just have one layer. Right. Other side. <gasps> I feel like I'm getting quite close to the eyebrow there. Good idea to use the ABA. Crack out the ABA, J. Um, okay, I'm going to use the same brush because why wouldn't you? It's a uh, satin right here, and uh, I reckon that is bright orange. She's uh, terracotta. Okay, I'm just gonna start deepening up the crease. Where's the crease? There. Blending into those first two colors, that to unity and, and then sphere. Just a nice sort of wash of gentle terracotta. Is that looking good? Good. Okay, uh, right, other side. Uh, right, I mean, do I go, yeah, you know, let's be professional about this. Back into Unity, just a little tippy 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 tappy tap, and then just back over that to make sure she's blended and beautiful, which I'm pretty sure is happening anyway, but you know, it, it never, never hurts to make sure. Yeah, I bet that looks good. Good, um, although that one felt like it went a little bit above the brow, but I, I'm pretty sure it's fine. Okay, now I, I feel like I've laid down, you know, like most of the base of this look. I think I'm going to go into parallel, this nice dark brown here, 
use it to really uh, deepen up the outer V. Maybe uh, start bringing it in round underneath, maybe. Okay. I think that probably looks really good, so I'm going to do the other side. Um, just uh, close that. Ooh, how, where did that one go? Yeah, I think that's probably a good start. As always, going to just grab that last brush and just, just make sure it's uh, just perfection. I'm just going to pop that away for now. Okay, I'm going to go back into this, the Aurora palette, and I'm going to just grab out... Yeah, why don't I use the stuff that's all flying... You can see this, can't you? All the stuff that... Um, Thanks, Courier Post. They destroyed and put everywhere. I'm just gonna, yeah, really squish that onto there because waste not, want not. I think um, in, in a corner is an order. Why don't I uh, just tuck some under my brow as well? Is that somewhere up there? Yeah, I think that probably looks great. What I do have, and what I thought would be a really good idea, is to probably use a really nice metallic liquid eyeshadow for my lid. We're really going all out today and I think this is a good idea. So this is the uh, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat so the colour is um, shells and whistles. So I've got this and I just have to stick it on my eyelid and make it look perfect, right? So... Yeah, I think that's probably good. I'm not going to fuck with that too much because it'll mess it up. Um, so I'm going to do the other one. Oh, no, not there. Where are we? Here we go. Good. I think it's coming in like that and just sweeping across the lid like that. I think that's going to give me a really good outcome. Is that brush from before? I'm going to just do this and sort of do around the edges. You know, oh hell, and that's spreading that everywhere. I, I feel, no, it's fine. This is, this is good technique. You know, you want to blend out the outside. The, you know, you don't want any harsh lines. You don't want any harsh lines. What I will do now, oh, this bit's going to be, oh, this bit's going to be good. So kids, I think it's eyebrow time. I've got a very blunt pencil and I'm going to just... I've been doing this since 1999. I know where my eyebrows are. I don't know where they are. Oh no. Touch them. There. Little strokes at the start. Just little strokes upwards. Great. Relaxing. Just drawing on your eyebrows. Using your imagination. <laughs> I just see it. Close your mouth, Tabby. Fuck's sake. Oh, oh, oh no, I touched something. I think that's probably fine. It's not a soft or pigmented pencil at all. It's a real cheap one. It came from the supermarket. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not perfect, but I, I think it's good enough. So, what do we do over here? Right at the beginning. Just. You know, little feathery light strokes just to mimic what it would be like if you had, had hairs there. Uh, okay. There's some hairs there, just at the start. Uh, that's where they tend to congregate, around the unibrow area. She spent ages doing this, but now I don't know what I'm... I can't see. So it makes it hard, funnily enough. Okay, let's just... let's just... You know, do a bit of sort of brush it through, you know. Uh, that way you can almost pretend to have like cool fluffy brows like all the kids on Instagram and shit. Even though that's never ever something you will ever achieve in the rest of your life. Wonder how much of that <laughs> eyelash growth serum I would need to put on my eyebrows for me to ever grow eyebrows back. Probably quite a lot. 
What do you reckon about that, son? I reckon that probably looks awesome. Okay, to go with this, um, I think we're going for a bold look, so I'm just going to uh, scrub into my waterline with a big black pencil. Right? Yep, I think that was a good idea. <laughs> okay, how long is that thing? Okay, right, I'm gonna go back into here and I'm gonna find, what was that nice brown color? Oh, oh, should I go for something a bit interesting? Let's go into, now let's just have a little bit of parallel right underneath. Okay, I bet that looks good. Then I'm gonna do this side. I think there's quite a lot of black that's just um, escaped the waterline. I can sort of feel it being a little bit tacky. But I think it's fine. Oh look, I can wipe it off on my uh, paper towel that's right there. Multitasking, good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pop into satin, I think, this this orange. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, just add a little bit of dimension down in the eye bag. Yeah, I think that probably looks really nice. I think the next thing I need to do is probably um, line my upper lids with a liquid eyeliner, which is gonna be so much easier because I can, can just I can just have my eyes completely shut and I don't have to worry and it's going to be fine. And I think probably just a... Oh, where are we? And just that little wing out the side will um, just sharpen up the look. I think that's probably enough for that side. Uh, <laughs> where the fuck's my eye? <laughs> ah! Okay, here it is, here it is. Don't, don't worry, I found it. All right. Really relax that lid. You're a really nice smooth line, you know. Out the side. Just a sort of a casual, just a casual little flick. Oh, that that one wasn't casual at little. Whoops. Oh, I bet that looks great. There's no way that doesn't look great. Now, a little bit of mascara. Actually, this shouldn't be hard. Ah, oh, God, it was hard. Whoops. Ow. Is this dangerous? No, because this is one that I could actually see. I can see the brush with my own eye because it's right in front of my eyeball. That's not helping me not poke myself though. Right, I bet they look really lifted, separated, stunning. Other side. Slow and steady wins the race though, Taff. Uh, of course I need to finish it off by doing a bit of the bottom lash. So that's definitely a thing. Try to not you know, touch it to your face too much. But I think there's quite a lot of black eyeliner there, so it's probably okay. If you can see your bottom lashes with your eye, when your eyes are open, like that, is that a bad thing? I'm pretty sure it's fine. Okay, now to finish off any sort of sophisticated eye look, you're gonna need lashes. So I'm gonna just, just uh, glue these up and then get them on my peepers. Ooh. Look, arrows. Oh, hoo hoo, hee hee. Okay. <laughs> I'm a 34 year old lady. Is that quite a lot of glue? Yeah, but I think it's probably fine. Cause I'm not gonna be seeing where I'm putting them, you know? I don't want any of to appear in your eyelashes. I feel like that's dried a bit. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, uh, chuck her on. I think that's, I usually do this and then just go uh oh no 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 don't do that dude um where are we oh fuck this is really hard there's something that I don't actually do all that often oh that that's It's on. Very far away from my actual lash. But I'm pleased with it. Good, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh, that bit's definitely not attached. No, 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 no. Oh no. Was doing this a mistake? I don't think so. Neither of them feel quite... 
Neither of them feel quite right, but they feel like the um equally not right. You know what I mean? I don't think there's any point in um, dicking around with that. I think we're just gonna, yeah. I think the last step, friends, is lips. What am I gonna do with this? I'm not gonna bottle of lip liner. That's boring. I am gonna go in with a dark wine sort of burgundy color. This is called Diamond Life. It's by Makeup Revolution. It's um, it's just gonna go on. You ready? Okay. Mm. Here. I mean you can overline a little bit. I'm going for one of those no cupid's bows sort of a day. Okay. Oh! Last thing! We need some setting spray! Cause you know, you don't want this work of art going anywhere. That's how much you're supposed to put on. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, I'm gonna grab my mirror that I hid under here. Okay, I'm ready. Oh! Oh, wow! <sighs> oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, no! Eyebrows are a travesty. What, dude? Some of the base isn't that bad. There's a lot of color. That nose contour, though. Oof. Oh, Taffy. Hang on. Without without these, because that I mean I can't put on eyelashes at the best of times. What was I thinking? The lips are a little bit yeah too much. But up here, oh, oh, I, I thought I'd be better at my eyebrows, dude. I thought I'd be so much better. Oh, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Apart from that, though, look at my beautiful eye look. These wet and wild liquid cat suits, you can use them with your eyes closed. Genius. How did I get that color there? And why does it look like that, though? That's mental. I'm so proud of my eyeshadow. Can I, I'm gonna take these off because that doesn't look healthy, right? Let's, let's just, you've got to have a good look before I ruined it with those. Let's just without it, can I look? That's not bad. Oh, my jawline. Oh, and oh, up there though. That, that was a choice. I mean, that's very cakey, isn't it? That doesn't look great. But I have looked worse. Well, this has been just wonderful fun. <laughs> For me? What can I say? I'm an artist. I'm a genius. I'm a savant. A makeup savant. Um, yeah, so I... <laughs> I've had a good time. I hope you've had a good time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and, uh, probably wash my face. You know, I, I gotta duck to the shops, fam. What would the neighbours think? Yeah, she's finally gone and lost it completely. So, thanks for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, that'd make me happy. And I've been Taffy, and you've watched me create this travesty artwork. Yeah. Peace out. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, bye.